Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do like a shortish vlog and today I'm also gonna film, but hopefully this is gonna be a short video. I'm about to film and probably this will already be out by the time that you're watching this, but I'm about to film like my mood board for 2022 and that's gonna be exciting, but just cause, so I listened to this one podcast and I feel like I need to listen to it again. But basically, it's talking about, like, when you're starting your day or whatever, it's like you shouldn't just go into the day um, just seeing where life will take you, which at the same time, I feel like saying that out loud, it's like that is life, though, you know? But anyway, seeing where life will take you instead... Actually, I forgot that I normally section my hair off. Like, instead, you should try to set an intention for the day instead of just going for the flow with the flow and you know, like not really expecting anything. I mean, in my head, I feel like that makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna film a mood board, and I've done that before, where I've done a mood board for the new year. Actually, I did that for last year, and you guys will see how much I, um, how much I accidentally, like ac accidentally, actually um, manifested, I guess, in my life. When I went back to ballet, you guys, like the first time when I filmed that, that video of mine, um, I actually was so proud of myself because I remembered so freaking much and I'm just like shook about it right now. Also, yesterday I went back to ballet and, oh my god, I have like little fluffy stuff in my nose all the time. And no, I just remembered so much. Guys, and also, I have an, a story time, a tiny story time. I know this is like probably boring at this point. This is also how I do my hair sometimes, to kind of give it like a blown out look without actually blowing it out, because like who's going to hold up a, um, like a rolling hair thing for like that long, because that takes forever. Okay. I don't know. That story time is not appropriate. Maybe I'll say it like later in the video. I feel like there's other things that I want to talk about. Oh, okay. But you guys will see on my mood board that one of the things or dream board, whatever it's called. One of the things that's on there is reaching 22, sorry, about like 20,000 subscribers. I need to like decide on a number before I start filming. I feel like YouTube, although I like it a lot and you know, this year I'm really gonna dedicate, I'm like, I need to film TikTok, okay? But anyway, um, this year, like, that's my goal and I, I feel like you have to believe that you will reach it and you can't just be like, I think I will. Um, so I will reach 20,000 subscribers. Um, I really believe it, but I will, I do want to talk about like, and like, I'm kind of filming this video because of... Well, just to film more, I feel like I need to post like five videos at least a month so that I can get paid pretty good on YouTube. Or I feel like also like the more content you have, blah, blah, blah. I'm willing to put in the work, which I have, but sometimes like it can be discouraging seeing other YouTubers that are just starting and obviously like you because you can't see it's just so much work in so many i was listening to victoria paris i think that's her name i was watching a video of hers i like i have so much to talk about apparently but um victoria paris and she did a video where she was just talking about like how much she makes and how she's making it and basically like it wasn't i'm like making these numbers up but it's like one like two videos a week like five TikToks a day, or like, fit. no, it wasn't even five, it was more than that actually. I do remember that, it was like 15 TikToks a day, most of them are set in drafts and then she reuses them or something. And it's like one re one or two reels a week and then, what's the other thing? Oh my gosh, I can't think right now. Um, one or two reels a week and then like Instagram lives once a week or like basically it's all these things, right? And I'm like, it's so true though. Like I, I feel like that's something that like you have to go in knowing. And I definitely didn't really realize like at first, you know, and the reason why you want to do that is so that you can expand into different avenues and such. And, but back to talking about burnout or whatever, 
all of this could cause literally burnout and that's why so many youtubers that you guys have grown up watching have stopped posting on youtube and it's just like how where are we making up all this time where you have to be creative like every time you make a video and set like 16 hours a week um to film it and edit it or whatever like that's like I wouldn't say that's an average for me, but that's like, sometimes that, that is, like when I edited my recent vlog, like that one took me forever to film and edit, but it's okay because I, I, I honestly put it off for a year actually, but I do, I did like it. It just never seemed right to post it because immediately after I got cancer and it was just like, I wasn't feeling like sharing that intimate moment. I don't know. Anyway, burnout culture, that's why a lot of YouTubers, you don't see them anymore. I think that's a real thing. It's like, I just want to keep posting and, you know, more likelihood that people will see it, da 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 But at the same time, it's like, like, burnout is a real fucking thing. So it's like a fine line, I feel like. And even now, I feel like, honestly, like, burnt out some weeks because it's like, imagine that, like, every week you have to be able to set that much time apart and you know sometimes i do feel like i'm not growing as fast as i would love to youtube is like low-key dying and i know even for like for example like lynette i always mention lynette, lynette but lynette adkins like she even said like guys like you know like try to expand to other um like avenues or whatever so as far as content and stuff the fact that i have to keep up with like new i'm like covering my face the whole time probably but the fact that i have to keep up with like new things and i'm like how do you even work this like i literally don't know how to work tiktok i'm just like and i'm gonna film two tiktoks today so hopefully you guys can kind of see like the behind the scenes and whatever i don't know i guess i just wanted to talk about that my goal this year is to reach 20,000 subscribers i really really want to get sponsorships which is something that i'll talk about in my my mood board or dream board for 2022 but yeah i'm about to go film and then i'll talk to you guys soon so i'm gonna keep filming because although i'm done with this video also i'm wearing my pajamas if you can tell it's just like my top that's whatever <sighs> i still need to film a tick or tiktoks and i actually need to call other things like my hospital and things like that so i might actually end up filming the tiktoks a little bit later it's just the daylight is so amazing right now like this is literally perfect but um unfortunately it only lasts like a little bit i'm so happy i painted <laughs> my room white or just like the small area that i did paint white because it just looks so amazing especially in selfies <laughs> which is like silly to say i know but whatever um okay let me see if i can you know reach out to those companies and then i will film my tiktoks and you guys were kind of see the behind the scenes so right now i'm actually trying to start editing my video i did a little bit of editing but I didn't succeed. I did get to film my TikTok and I'll see if I could insert it here or if not, just follow me on my TikTok. I'm trying to really expand there and do ballet core. I did take off my nails, so my nails look rough. Like, I don't even want to show you, but they do look rough and I need to fix that. Um, these were my days off and I will be having to work for the next couple weeks. Sorry, until next week. And it's barely Wednesday, so I'll be working like five or six days straight or something like that. I don't know. I hate working, you guys. Like, I literally need this to go well because I just like, why do people have to work, bro? You know? Yeah, anyway. Uh, so I'm actually just watching. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm currently watching my old videos. See, that's the thing with YouTube. It's like... You have to make things that like you'll actually want to watch and that inspire you to keep making more. Sorry, I'm like moving the camera a lot. Um, so like, yes, I know what gets me views and I actually like, I really like my, you know, channel right now, but at the same time, it's like, there has to be a mix of like your personal life. But the thing with like YouTube and vlogging is if you're not big right now, nobody cares about your personal life, which I totally understand. But that's part of the reason why I post on YouTube because I feel like I like my personal life. That's like part of the reason why I started posting on YouTube, I mean. I don't know what this vlog is. Like I should have showed you behind the scenes of my TikToks, um, but I didn't. And just like, imagine like the thumbnails literally like this. I've been taking like a lot of pictures like that too. 
mostly because I'm lazy, but secondly, also because I haven't taken that many pictures. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the muffins that I made. I literally forgot. But um, I'm just like, I'm taking this new aesthetic. And if you follow me on my Instagram, let me know. Also, you'll see everything I'm talking about on my Instagram. Hello, guys. This is what I woke up with this morning. I think it's been like three days since I last uh, vlogged this video. I have been doing kind of good. If you guys have seen my newest video where... Okay, also, by the way, I woke up like this. Okay, but if you guys have seen my newest video, I basically just did like... And I actually have to go in a little bit, but... I talked about how I am doing the stream board and one of them is exercising and I'm trying to exercise more than like once, anywhere from like one to two times a week because that's what I was doing. And before I used to be really good at it, but obviously like recently I haven't been. Also like I burnt myself and it's healing, but I feel like I have a lot of little marks like this one. I mean, that's for surgery and my surgery is coming soon, blah, blah, blah. And I just want to talk about a few things. Also, I'm in shape, whatever. Let's talk, let's talk about a few things before I actually have to leave. I have like three minutes. Um, first of all, one is like, I just love the idea. You guys can't even see me, but I've been going to ballet. At first I was like, I'm gonna just go a few times so that I can make videos out of it. And cause it's kind of expensive, even though I'm getting paid like a little bit more. So, you know, like it's, within my budget, I guess. Maybe not to go like two times, four times a week, but twice a month. And I feel like winter is the time where everyone's obsessed with ballet. And some people have also said that ballet is gonna be like coming into the future. Like I know that you guys can't take me seriously because of my hair. I'm about to go shower. I don't know, I just feel so great. I feel like I've gotten kind of far and um, I'm trying to build endurance in all other ways. So I'm trying to do a little bit of weightlifting Definitely some cardio because I need to do that. And then I've been doing yoga because it's so important to stretch. Okay, you guys, I, I was I used to be able to do this and I think I might have like an Instagram story from before, but and this is not how you're supposed to do it, at least not from yoga because I used to do yoga like every day. But this is like as far as I could like put up my leg. And before I used to be able to put it up higher, but maybe like we'll look back at it in a few months and see. Um, Cause you know how like ballerinas could actually like, do it all day. Basically I'll keep stretching, I have one minute. Well, I'll keep stretching and see my progression. But you guys, I feel kind of great because in ballet, I don't know, like I've gotten kind of far in that. And in other aspects, like socially, I feel like, or this is like, like truth talk, I guess, whatever. I don't know with this hairdo. Like this is <laughs> like, you guys know I'm getting real cause I have this like hairdo and I, I am so supportive of my friends and I love my friends and everything. But I also feel like a lot of them, not just like one, it's like several of them are like advancing in their life. And it makes me feel like I'm not like socially, right? It's just like, if I could for the rest of my life, I could keep living the way that I'm living. And if you guys know what I mean, if you guys are like 20 something and you just see your friends advancing in things that like, it, it could be like, literally career, health, relationships, like all those three. And, and before I felt that pressure and like literally editing my video from last year, I saw that I had also felt that pressure, but this year I still feel it. And if anything, I just feel like it even more, I don't know, but it's also like, I still wanna have fun. So like, why is it not affecting me, but why do I feel this pressure? So there's a T, are you guys 20 something and are like, Guys, I literally can't take me seriously with this hair. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. And next weekend, I'm actually gonna go on a trip to a little rocket ship. Now, I'm gonna go on a trip to like somewhere cold. So today I need to get stuff for it. Also, vibes right now, like literally morning vibes is like coffee, taking it slow, work out if you can. I just, I was working on a video, but also listening to hers and just like jamming out and like crying also, because if you know the story about hers then you know the story about hers, if you don't, unless you want to ruin your day, but it's so important to keep artists alive. I don't know, talented artists alive. Um, anyway, the vibes, just like pure vibes are literally vibes. Oh, and I'm also watching Spider-Man, even though I put a pause to it, I'm watching the amazing Spider-Man. Cause all the other Spider-Mans I remember, I just forgot them like what even happened in this one. And I feel like we'll talk about this other one like later.
Hey guys, so for some reason the volume doesn't work on my phone sometimes, but I'm basically just saying that I'm at the mall and I want to show you some pieces. So yesterday I didn't film, but I went to a different one and it has Dillard's. And if you don't know, I talk about Dillard's all the effing time. Like I feel like you guys are sleeping on Dillard's. Let me just like show you. It's just like it has great fabric and a lot of the times it's like more flattering than a regular just like sweater. Sometimes like it's a hit or miss, not a hit or miss, but sometimes like because I'm so petite, these taller, you know, tops don't look as great. But I'm gonna try this on. It's got like a peplum bottom and like, just look at how cute this is. And look, I was seeing that they put this like outfit together and like you could just tell in the quality that it's just really sick and um these pants are almost the same price that i paid for mine from loft and they're literally just like amazing quality i just don't know but i already have some so i'm not getting any i'm gonna keep looking around yesterday i purchased look they have like really cute sweaters and like they all have like little you see how like they have like little detail it's like it makes it more like feminine looking you know like ballet it looks like I don't know. I feel like you guys are just like sleeping. Let's see how much this one costs. So anyway, okay, that one's kind of expensive. But um, this one's like 50 bucks, which I like. Okay, so here the volume of course has gone out again. But I basically I'm just saying that like when I pick up these garments, I can tell the difference in quality as far as the fabric and the mixture of fabrics actually um, compared to like Zara. These are pretty expensive, so I'm not saying to get these, but I'm just saying that to get, like, long-wearing clothes, you should look at the quality. I know it's, like, super dark right now, and you guys probably can't even see me. It is 6.30 in the morning, and, like, we were supposed to leave at, like, 5, maybe, like, 5.30, um, to go to New Mexico, but we're barely leaving. <gasps> we're barely leaving. Hey guys, so I basically, like, didn't film at all much the first day. Like, it was really just a lot of driving. It was a 10 hour and a half drive, I think, or something like that. So it was just, like, a lot of driving. And I didn't film the first day because we just basically got home. We fell asleep. But I did film the whole other day. And honestly, you guys didn't really miss much. We had to drive a lot. And then to our second location on the second day, we had to drive another three hours to and then another three hours from. So that's basically what we're seeing right now. And it's that this is to go skiing, which was really fun, actually. I haven't been keeping you guys updated on what we've been doing so far, but we just got to, so we've been in New Mexico already for a day, but we went up the mountains and our plan was to go to like the city outside of Albuquerque and uh, go skiing because they've never done that before. And we're also not going to take any classes, so we're just winging it. But guys, it's just so pretty. I'm going to show you guys like the road on the way up and just like, it is so cold, which by the way, I need my gloves. If you guys like saw my get ready with me video, or sorry, my outfit video, you guys will see that I was like, this is what I'll wear. Um, it is so freaking cold. Um, or for me at least, because like you guys know, it's like 70 degrees in Texas where I'm from. I'm going to show you guys clips, but they don't let me bring my phone, so I won't bring in my phone. Um, and hopefully I get to get take some IGs, I don't know. But okay, guys, we were talking about this in the car. Snow is so cute to us because like we hardly see it. But I'm sure for some of you guys, it's like overrated as like F right now. Um, we think it's so cute. I don't know. I'm just like so in love. I love. Oh my gosh. And you guys saw my dream board. I was like, you guys, I want to take more small twi trips and like more winter aesthetic. Because I love snow and like winter kind of uh, vacations. So anyway, we're going to go seeing. I know it's going to be a fail. Does this count as an exercise? Because I've only exercised twice this week. I'm so excited to show you guys Albuquerque. It's so freaking beautiful. Let's see how hard skiing is, which I know it's going to be like super hard, but like I've ice skated before. Like that's the same thing, right? Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> I totally forgot to film like skiing, but I also completely fell so many times we couldn't even get up. And now we decided to park on the side and we're going to take a picture, but I need to show you guys something. Look at this. I don't think you can see? see. Well, my butt's wet. Like, it's completely wet. It's drenched. Everyone could see. And, like, probably wasn't the smartest thing to, like, I don't know, wear white pants, but... 
We're out here. I think we were probably there for like an hour, right? We took an yeah. hour just to turn on, <laughs> just to put on the switch. But we were there for an hour. Like we just couldn't tell because we put it on for I like- I think we, it was like an hour, 20 minutes. The 20 minutes oh when, was the only time. We're going down. We were just really dumb and we didn't know how to put on the skis. No, we weren't dumb. They just didn't tell us. And they, nobody f***ing helped us out. But it's like you would think like you would know, you know, to open it. I don't know. But like no, we didn't know. we know that we're native Texans. Yeah, we told them. <laughs> we're literally Mexican. And they were like, <laughs> they were like, you guys wouldn't need the sticks to go skiing. But like, also... Like we went, like we were like, how do you even stand up? We definitely needed the sticks. Wait, so if the trainee did, was, if he was supposed to teach us how, so he was just like not doing his job? No, like you only get taught if you pay. Right, but, but as I far as like, him. you did? No, yeah. but like we were stuck, you know? Like, and the lady was like, oh, you were supposed to like help them. Yeah, he told, she told him. Okay, you guys went around, it fucking sucks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it totally like, like yeah, it bombed. What? You're like, yeah, they did. Say that, remember? Yeah. <laughs> no, but when they were like, it's supposed to be, well, like, no, no, no. We came back and they were like, was it fun, you guys? We were like, yeah. <laughs> it was so fun. I felt bad for them. So I, I know, like, me too. I said the like, same thing. Did you guys have a fun time? I was like, yeah, it was such a fun time. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Okay, but now, um, well, I mean, oh, it I wasn't. really almost cried. <laughs> it hurt that bad. It wasn't that bad. It was just like, we're laughing. Yes, it off. was. <laughs> It was bad. It was bad. I just, that's it. <laughs> this is where we're gonna take a picture. Hopefully we get a picture of all of us, but like I'm saying, like my pants are wet, so I'm gonna try my hardest not to show them. And also like all the cords are passing by right now. Good morning, everybody. It is currently back home. It is um, 8.50 p.m. But here... Yeah. It's locked. Oh, it's over here. Okay, sorry. Yeah, no, it's like it's super cold here. But we love this Airbnb and I just remembered that I have not filmed much in this Airbnb. And I know I look like this, like we have to get ready and we have to leave already. Um, I'm gonna do like a tiny tour um, and then hopefully by the time that I get ready, we can go see Jesse Pinkman's house, perhaps Walter's house and um, other sightseeing stuff. We're also supposed to go to um, Santa Fe. You guys, I literally woke up like this. Like, you know how like YouTubers wake up like beautiful and everything, like that's not me. Like. <laughs> Not that I look ugly, I'm just saying like I, this is how I look. Okay, so let's show you the apartment. I put this like color corrector that's yellow because I'm like, it's in theme for Breaking Bad. Okay, let's flip you over. This is okay, so here's the front door. Here's our room. It's already wet, so just pretend you can see it how it's meant to be. I guess I don't know. Let me turn around. Here's the living room, and we have our stuff because this is typically where we hang out. Um, and if we go straight here, oh, and then we have a projector. It's so cute. They also have like a bunch of what's it called? I don't know. Decor paintings. Oh my gosh! And then the kitchen. I'm obsessed with it. It looks really like I don't know, like what you would think New Mexico looks like. Like I don't know. Um, we have some dishes to wash for sure because we ate yesterday night. This is like the overview. I'm just like obsessed with the kitchen. Okay, and then if it walks right here, and the guy has like amazing things, like, I don't know, it, you can tell that he knows how to cook meth, just kidding. And then here, you know, we just got like a little cleaning area uh, where we're cleaning. And there's something funny going on here with the log here, so we're just going to kind of show you. But basically, it's this like space where you can work, and I would like work on my video here, but um, it's actually really cold and outside. It's a big backyard. Oops, I touched this. I didn't mean to. Okay, it's a big backyard. And it's got like a fire pit and everything. And then after that, on the other side, we have a 
Well, I can't really show you her because it's like an, the extra room in the bathroom. That's kind of it, you guys. Yeah, so I am about to go get ready so that I don't look like I'm dying. Um, and then I will talk to you guys soon. I actually did this uh, video that should be up first where I was like what I would wear in New Mexico or whatever to go skiing like on this vacation. But like I haven't. Like the first night we got here so late because we drove here and I really just like wore my sweats because we got home and then we passed out or we got home I mean we got to our Airbnb and then we did grocery shopping so now we're gonna see what we end up doing today I need to go pick up something at Kendra Scott and it kind of sucks because I've been working out consistently and I haven't in this trip because there's just like no time Yesterday we drove, you guys saw, like, we drove the longest way ever. <laughs> okay, actually we drove, like, three hours, right? And the reason why we drove three hours is because we were going to go skiing. But turns out, um, like, we went, we would drove three hours to and from. But turns out, like, we didn't have to drive all the way over there. Like, we can go skiing in Santa Fe. I was like, oh my effing god. I mean, we're only here for, like, another, like day and a few extra hours after that so we'll see how today goes i'll have to show you as we're driving away from everything because it is so beautiful here like i don't know if you guys know me like if you guys don't know me then you guys don't know that i am obsessed with breaking bad it's like my favorite show ever it's just like it's my favorite show ever and we passed by jesse's house because we actually are staying so close to jesse's house oh my god i want to come back because i just love and okay so i'm from texas right and like not everyone here is as friendly or like has that southern hospitality where like they're gonna help you without asking but everybody here is still nice if that makes sense like once you start talking to them i guess that's kind of what they say about like people in new york i don't know so i'm just gonna like log off right now um get ready and then i'll talk to you guys super duper soon just realized this is gonna be like the longest log ever. Okay, so we're about to leave. It's uh, oh, the last like official day here, but we wanted to show you our outfits because I haven't been showing you any of the outfits. Honestly, like I've been in sweats and yesterday, what did I wear? Oh, it was like an all white outfit, which I showed in my last video or my next video coming up. Today, I have this outfit that I've shown before, but we switched the jacket because I did, um, okay, well, anyway. This, this is a long sleeve brown jacket, I mean sweater. And I'm wearing my white pants that I stained horribly last night. <laughs> and then also my glittery Juicy Couture bow uh, boots that I've shown before. And then on top we just did a, like, a blue bomber jacket, I guess, or like coat. And with a white to tie in a white, like, little scarf, I guess. This honestly to me reminds me of like really Hannah Montana vibes, you know? <laughs> like yes or no? Okay, but now I'm gonna show you the girls' outfits. Okay, so this is Marlene. This is Marlene. This is my outfit for today. Mm -hmm. The little beret thing is from Sheen. Oh. The scarf is they says. <laughs> the jacket is thrifted. Mm -hmm. The top is this little like. What's it called? Like a leotard thing, I guess. Oh, like, um, at the bottom. Like a one piece, I guess. Yeah, one piece. It's like this black turtleneck. The skirt is thrifted. Mm -hmm. And the tights, tights are from Ross. Are they either brown or is it a black? Yeah, they're brown. I love them. They came brown. in a pack of like black and brown. And these are the boots I'm gonna wear. Cute. Love it. Yeah, and it's 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 not that chilly today, right? Yeah, it's not as windy, so we can kind of get away with, with what we're wearing. Tights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll then. See. So also, I did forget to mention. Ultimately, we did come in this trip because it's Daisa's birthday. Well, so this is this <laughs> is Daisa's birthday outfit. Daisa's my sister, by the way. We look alike. Okay. We do. So I guess the scarf is my grandma gave me. This coat is thrifted. Mm -hmm. These are from Amazon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My dress is from Banana Republic. It's very cute. It's like a long sleeve. With um, balloon sleeves. Yeah, balloon sleeve. Like, it's like this. My and tights are some... from Marlene. And <laughs> my boots are thrifted. Yes, Super cute. Funny, yes. 
hopefully we um, get to do more things that we did yesterday because yesterday we just did the thing that we did and then we came back home and we fell asleep. <laughs> also, since this will be up by the time that we've already left, there's this like really cute car out there. It's just like, so cute. Back. Like, yeah, d everything I'm filming, doesn't it look, if you've seen Breaking Bad, then you guys know, but like everything I'm filming, it looks so Breaking Bad. I want sunshine, I want rain, I want love, I want the pain. Me up, go Guys, we found Jesse's house, and I was trying to be like, I wasn't trying to be rude. Okay, maybe I should stop filming here, but uh, <laughs> I wasn't trying to be rude to get on their space. But like, when we were driving by like the other night, because they filmed inside, I was able to see, and maybe I'll insert um, a clip. But like, a lot of people actually here in these neighborhoods. Um, they have they have their windows like wide open and then their lights are shining and whatever and you could just see everything inside so it's like kind of funny like kind of creepy in a way you're like people watching basically and they're like they're like letting you um but yeah like these houses are so cool but inside I was able to see that like it looked like Jesse's house from the and I think that they actually did use his house but like I'm just like a I'm such a fan of the show, so I'm very, I was very excited. Um, and we came in the night, the other night, so um, now we're coming in the morning, and uh, perhaps tomorrow we might be able to see Walter's house. I know that, like, it's changed so much, though. Um, and if not, Walter's house, maybe somebody else's house. I'm editing this, and after this, we ended up going to... Santa Fe, which is an hour away, but uh, we went to this museum and we saw all of these like really interesting lights and you have to like solve this problem or whatever. I didn't really get too much of that, but that's what we did on that day. Hey guys, so I wanted to kind of update you guys. I should put this pillow under you, hold on. <laughs> all right, so while like my sister and uh, Marlene are gone, I thought I would update you guys on um, just like what's been going on. I'm actually uploading a video right now and it should go live shortly. This this vlog is gonna be so freaking long and I just thought about that. Today we ended up going to Santa Fe and it was beautiful but I feel like uh, Albuquerque is just, it's perfect. Like it looks like a little town but it's got all, you know, like the big malls and whatever and not that that's important but you know every now and then you wanna have access to things, I don't know, whatever. And it's got like, Whole Foods is like two minutes away, like I don't know. So I'm actually calling out to work tomorrow. <laughs> we didn't get to spend a lot of time on Albuquerque and like we have to like, tomorrow would have been our last day but we would have had to leave so early and we just love the energy here. Like everyone's really nice and everything like that. I showed you this outfit earlier but I love this top and if you guys are interested, this is actually from Dillard's. Um, I got this on sale, I think it was like 40 some, $49 or something, or $48, I don't know. I have been experiencing, like moving on to next topic, I have been experiencing um, heavier flows because, this is like TMI, because of my period, but because I'm on medication, because of my medication, like I never really have like heavy flows for like a long amount of time. Every day I am getting stained and like I only packed light bottoms, like light pants and a white skirt and I've got those leggings that I those fleece leggings that are nude and the, like it's been staining through all of those things because of my medication basically like every time that I've had it for the past like two like I don't know I guess I could show you guys but maybe like if you're a guy watching this like I don't know it's weird it's just like really annoying actually and it came early so it was supposed to be after the trip I don't know what's going on there but like I just feel like overwhelmed or whatever and yesterday I didn't even notice that like my white pants my white pants were like stained all the way down and I was just like walking around talking to people which is kind of embarrassing but I I mean like the I guess it's like you shouldn't pack white pants but it's like I like the white pants. It goes with this outfit the best. Okay, so anyway, we're supposed to go out into the town today. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, and it was my sister's birthday today. We they're picking up some Thai food and um, earlier I was talking about like I wanted to say this story, so like I'm gonna just say it. It has nothing to do with anything, but see the thing is, it's like you have to wait like three years after 
um, four or five years after things happen. It's a random story and it just like, it just, sometimes I could sound pretentious and I totally like know that. That's why I feel like I can't be friends with people that are like spiritual. I guess as you get older, you experience like a lot of different kinds of people. Like, I totally believe in like manifestation and all those things. And it's also good to get perspective on the opposite side. And, uh, of that uh, just so that you you know kind of have perspective. This is like a random story <laughs> you guys but like I was super into like spiritualism at the time and not not that I'm not right now it's just it's a different journey whatever and I feel like a lot of you guys are a little younger but anyway so there was this guy that we used to be friends with and you know for some reason that friendship ended it, it, I mean it was kind of ugly like I feel like I swear to god he was probably like a Gemini because his energy was all over the place like one day he'd be happy the other day he'd be nice and towards some people he was like friendly and then you know sometimes he'll turn around and be like super you know just like aggressive toward you and like he'd forget that you were a girl like you know whatever I don't know there was probably other things you know but he'd be interested in one thing and then the next week he's like I'm not into that anymore okay like it's the kind of friendships that you have when you're young and if you have those kinds of friends like trust me like you'll end up picking better friends eventually because that's not how friends should friends should be anyway at least not for me so eventually he ended up reaching out after a few years so like two years after and you guys i was like i was trying to be mysterious and like spiritual because he knew he he knew me like that see the thing with like spiritualism is that like you could be like that but then like you're human so sometimes that wall break i don't even know what i'm trying to say you guys other than he messaged me and he was like hey you know sorry that this happened to you like you know i still like think about you guys and i hope you're fine and blah 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 and i don't know what okay, guys this is like a random story like this is literally the most random story ever then i messaged him back something along the lines of like hey like thank you for blah 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 it's almost like i was trying to put this wall of like see the thing like with people that are spiritual like almost seem like they have their life together but they don't like they're still human like they still go through all of the emotions and some of them train themselves to reflect on that emotion and think like where does it stem from and not react from that emotion but also it's like we're all human like whatever anyway but see it kind of makes you look mysterious and i just didn't want to get personal with this person again so I, all i responded was like hey thank you so much for blah 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 like saying that that's really sweet i did not want to get into communication with him anymore i didn't want him to message me anymore i wasn't trying to be friends with him anymore so i just like kind of kept it short and sweet and didn't want to like imply like maybe in the future like no it's just like this would be like the last message and that's what i was saying in my words and at the end i was like i hope that you find your home because like this guy was kind of like you know like a misfit i guess in his head but like you guys like how pretentious does it sound that like i like to him i know that he probably thought like oh damn like wow but also it's like saying it out loud and what's up i might cut this out i don't know but it's like what is the point of saying something like that like out loud if someone said that? like i don't know <laughs> like who says that to people but it's because like at the same time it's like i hope that you feel at peace with yourself almost but at the same time it's just like if you don't get it it's like the f how do you know that i don't feel at home but at the same time it's like i didn't really care if i offended him or not like i didn't care how he took it just because i didn't want it i don't know but i could totally see why that would sound rude um yeah so what was the point of that story i'm not sure i just want to add in here that i ended up telling my sister and marlene her this story time just because I think it's so funny to think that, like, you say things like that. It's like, that is me. But also, it's like, I'm socially aware of how that sounds. I don't know. And it ended up becoming, like, this joke where, like, we were just, like... It's like this... Because it was an inside joke to myself, you know? So, anyway, I wanted to share it on the trip and in this video. And we were just, like, also, do you like the half-painted wall? Anyway, also, I'm a Sag son. So, everyone's probably like, why is your brain so scattered? This is why. But yeah, it ended up being the joke of the trip. And um, instead of saying like, thank you, especially to someone that you don't like, it's I hope you found your home. You find your home. Because it's like true. It's also like, it could be petty or it could be deep. You know, it's like, which one is it? And we just been watching Breaking Bad and see like the mind F is the fact that like, I'm watching Breaking Bad like six minutes away from Jesse Pinkman's house and like probably like 10 minutes away from like Walter White's house. So like, I don't know. And I guess I should stop talking about it in case like none of you guys like even know what I'm talking about But do you guys go through the thing where you're just like hey, this is fun But like feel guilty for having fun and like spending money and stuff you feel guilty 
but at the same time it's like this is what it's for so I constantly have to remind myself about that. I'm like talking about a whole not lot of nothing. I don't know how I'm going to edit this down. But yes, I'm just going to keep editing and I will talk to you guys soon. Another thing is like I hope I wish I visit here again. But also I hope that, well not I hope, need to get back into like working out and stuff. I feel like I also need to do like a cancer update. Because it's just like so many things have been coming up. Like stressful things. But maybe that's why I need to be here. I wish like I was honestly like self-paid financially free so i could you know be here all the time like travel sorry not be here all the time i would love to have a house here you guys all of the houses here are just like like they're little but then you go inside and like they're like large i don't know also you guys is anyone like bad at texting their friends like because i'm really really bad at texting back all my friends okay so you guys are currently in my kitchen cabinets not mine, but my Airbnbs. Because I don't know where else to put you guys. Recently, I've been getting some questions about, about like doing a get ready with me. And I don't know, I feel like those don't have views, but if you guys request it, I will. Okay, so foundation is on and I've already put on concealer. I've also already contoured my nose and I've already put bronzer. So typically the next part that I do is browse this in the shade medium brown. So that's the other thing, it's like with the get ready with me, you have to have something to say, and I don't. Also normally I wet my brush, and then we're gonna go in. You guys, yesterday we did go to Santa Fe. It was really pretty, but like, I don't know, we still like Albuquerque better, and I think it's probably because we didn't know where to go. And then you guys, yesterday in Albuquerque, we had asked this like local coffee shop, and I wanna find out what it is in case one of you guys are from here. Or in case one of you guys have been here. It's like really cute looking. I took a picture of it, but I don't I don't remember what it was called, honestly. So we had asked someone working at the bar, like if they knew of a place to go because we weren't from here. And it also because it's my it was my sister's birthday last night. So we went to the bar that she said, and it was basically the only one that she the only one that was open that she had said. It was like a downtown sort of bar. I don't know if you guys are from big cities or where you guys are from or if you guys have traveled a little bit or what some cities their downtown is like the place to be right and in other cities you don't go downtown you have to go to like the like nicer bars i guess in like other areas of the city this city the bars that she said one of them was downtown that was the only one that was open but when we go downtown, it's literally empty. And well, there's like a few people, but it's basically like dead looking. We had seen in this like map afterwards that like it's actually like normally like very busy, I guess, because of COVID, which makes sense. And also it was a Sunday. The people were just like asking if we wanted some of their candy. And we were just like, what? Why are people just giving out their food? freaking stuff like that like that's really weird we're not trying to share any candy with anybody or like have someone's candy if you mean if you know what i mean i don't know if you know what i mean but you know also sometimes my eyeliner does this like what but it's okay we're gonna go in with a black liner afterwards now i'm just gonna fill in the brows that was last night we ended up like walking around a little and then we turned around and, went, and we went back in uh went back into our car i mean not back into the bar if you guys have ever been to austin it kind of looked like sixth street i don't know maybe we should talk to more people here because i mean we're only here for one more day like today basically we literally had to hype ourselves up so much to go it was like my sister's birthday so it's like we should go out, you know, kind of thing. And also we're like in a new city. This was kind of the point, like not to go out, go out, but like to see the city. But yeah, we basically like hyped ourselves up, walked for like three minutes, turned around, got back in the car, came to our Airbnb and then we fell asleep. But today we're gonna go to this place. It's like a brewery. I have a dry spot here. Some of these bars are more, I just like peeled off like skin. But some of these bars are just like morning, Daytime bars kind of, which I also prefer. It's almost like, well, what do I do during the day if I want to have, not even have fun, but just like if I want to chill, I guess. Like I don't always want to go to a bookstore, but we'll see what this place is like. And if you guys are from here, like I would love to, or if you have family here or anything like that, please let me know like what you think of the city and like I mean, we're gonna be gone now, but like, I really want to come back. Like, what do you guys do here? Also, it's beautiful. Like, I know I keep saying that, but like, I think like. It's like not like a hyped up city and I'm like, why is it not though? Because like literally it is 
amazing and it kind of does like downtown and i always say this you guys this is like this is how you know if i like a place if like i'm like oh my god this reminds me of gilmore girls oh today we're gonna go see stores here that are breaking bad stores like i know i'm never a tourist i don't get merch for fun that's like not for me just because i know i'll never wear it so i don't want to like just buy random things but breaking bad to me is one of those shows that is like a masterpiece it's literally a masterpiece wait i didn't even like go in with brow gel you guys i have nothing left in this brow gel basically it's from anastasia and then i'm gonna do liner and i'll show you this is mostly gone but it's from tarte it's got like a double side guys none of this is focusing i don't know why and then i blend it out with this so i thought i was filming that whole time but it wasn't i filled in this line and then i blended it out i'm gonna see if i can now i was gonna do a second coat here and i was saying that i found this like eyeliner that's so blendable and like doesn't really pull on your eyes as much i do like when some of the gray kind of gets on your eyelids because it looks kind of like a vintage like look i'm gonna just finish my eyes do mascara and then put on lip gloss morning you guys it is the final last day we're already trying to leave this is how i'm gonna leave the house we're just gonna go pick up coffee see walt's house and then head out good morning guys i would like to say <laughs> oh this is everything that we're packing up good morning guys today's day <laughs> i need to finish and then we have to like do the beds and stuff but i guess you can kind of see the airbnb a little bit better than how we had left it like the other days oh that's too funny so this is our final OOTDs for the Zay for the <laughs> for the week. We're literally gonna be driving for like ten hours. I'm gonna show your your driving OOTD. No, it's ugly. Shirt is literally. from Cloudcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Tights are from I don't even know where. And my little moccasins, are but they're J. not. Curry. They're from J. Curry, yeah. Ugh, we're actually gonna miss this apartment so much, but. We must leave. You guys, this really is Walter White's right? house, and it's all fenced up. Like, I don't know. Why the fuck is the sidewalk close? Ma'am, that's public property. The like, lady totally changed it and everything, but like, but like, you can still tell it's like so iconic. But this whole like neighborhood is so iconic because of the show. But the lady, and everyone says this in every single video, like YouTube video that you see, or tour guides, or whatever, the ladies always waiting outside her house to make sure like no one comes she literally had all of her patio furniture out there yeah <laughs> did i already explain this that that was walter white's house so we're so confused why the lady still owns that house and doesn't rent it for airbnb we're on our way back we're just chilling with our two cups of coffee each that was basically our own breaking bad tour we stopped by this like one little store that's like breaking bad i don't know how i made this into like a breaking bad like video so i got like a little sticker i also picked up two cups like it looks cool right so i didn't film an outro i totally forgot this was a long video i just want to say thank you guys so so much for watching some of you guys were requesting more vlogs they're definitely coming this is an hour worth of content i post every mondays i will see you guys next week don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button i'll wait Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys super, super soon.